Hi there! Welcome to MCSI. My name is Anna. In this video, I will tell you what Windows APIs are and why reverse engineers need to know about it. On your Windows computer, you would use a number of applications. Consider an application like Microsoft Word. Let's assume you want to open this Word document for viewing. Here's what happens in the background when you double-click the file name. Word would make an API function call to the hard disk to retrieve the file based on the access rights of the user opening the file. The create file call can be used to create a new file or open an existing one. This API function call instructs the operating system to fetch the file from the hard disk. Likewise, there are other API functions to read a file, write to it, get information about the file, and even delete it. Application programming interfaces or APIs exist to allow users and applications to interact with the operating system and underlying hardware. When building Windows applications like Word, PowerPoint, Teams, etc., developers incorporate API function calls in the application code. When we use the applications, these API calls handle system resources to help us accomplish tasks. There are different types of functions available for use. Windows API or Win API contains the most important functions for the management of files, processes, and services to implement networking, manage security tasks, etc. Now, let's talk about why reverse engineers must know about Windows APIs. Malware samples misuse the available API functions to carry out adversarial activity. The create file function can be exploited to drop malicious scripts or payloads. Now I will show you how a malware sample takes advantage of Windows API functions. I have used IL Spy tool to decompile a malicious Windows executable. To know more about IL Spy, I encourage you to watch another video on our channel. You can find the link to it in the description box below. Open subkey is used to retrieve a registry subkey either for reading or writing. This sample used the API function to retrieve a key containing information about configured virtual machines. You can view the function parameters used here. Some malware samples attempt to detect when they are being analyzed in a virtual machine to prevent further analysis. The create directory function is used to create a new folder in the file system. Here, the sample creates a new directory at the specified path and attempts to execute a command. The sample can be examined completely to uncover this behavior. API functions designed for networking may be used to establish connections with the adversary's command and control server or to receive commands or to even exfiltrate data. This function is an example. This malware sample appears to upload some resources to an external server. Analysis of a suspicious executable typically begins with static and dynamic analysis. This will provide an overview of the sample's activity. With that information, when reverse engineering is performed, the API calls made by the sample and parameters used must be scrutinized carefully. This will help understand the intricate changes made by the sample to the infected computer. When studying malware reversing, I highly encourage dedicating time to get familiar with commonly used Windows APIs. I invite you to watch another video on our channel where we discuss about Windows APIs and system calls. You can find the link to it in the description box below. Stay tuned to our channel to know more about Windows APIs for reverse engineering. If you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon!